India is working on revolutionizing its humble rail network into a cutting-edge marvel. The focus of this project is to create a state-of-the-art high-speed rail system, boasting an impressive top speed of nearly 200 miles per hour. This new bullet train will reduce the nine-hour long trip from Mumbai to Ahmedabad to only about two hours. But India isn't just doing this for convenience. It is part of India's aspiration to become a fully developed country and a superpower on the world stage. And having a super fast train system that connects important cities is a big step toward reaching these goals. But here's the issue. Even though they started working on this project six years ago, India is still having a hard time making good progress. So why is it taking so long to build India's first bullet train? And what's the plan for the future? India has a really big and busy railway system which is kind of like a story of contradictions. Even though the country is growing economically super fast, its trains are quite the opposite, slow, packed with people, old and not very comfy. If you look at nearby countries, they have these sleek high-speed rail lines, making India's railways look a bit outdated. Despite this, India actually has the fourth biggest rail network globally, with tracks covering almost 70,000 kilometers. This massive railway is responsible for moving more than a billion tons of stuff and carrying over 8 billion passengers. It's a big deal because India has a ton of people, even more than China, but traveling by train in India isn't always smooth. The roads are famously crowded, making many people choose domestic flights instead. Plus, there have been some serious train accidents recently that make people doubt the safety of the railways. The railway system is really old, over 160 years, and safety is a big concern. These accidents are a big deal and get attention from around the world. So, building that new high-speed bullet train is a bit of a challenge against this backdrop. In June 2023, India faced one of its most devastating train disasters. A signaling failure in Odisha caused a catastrophic collision and derailment involving three trains, leading to hundreds of casualties and over a thousand injuries. Despite this tragic incident, the railways remain a lifeline for the nation, especially for millions of people who don't have other transportation options. For many in India, the railways are an essential way of getting around, even as the aviation sector grows. However, these incidents have sparked debates about the safety of India's extensive and aging railway infrastructure. To address the increasing transportation challenges, the country is taking on a transformative journey by building a high-speed rail system inspired by Japan's iconic model. This ambitious project is already well into the advanced stages of construction, featuring elevated viaducts soaring over the landscape and tunnels diving deep under the sea. It's a monumental engineering feat that, if successful, could position India as a global superpower. Despite the challenges and tragedies, the nation is forging ahead, determined to modernize its transportation network and ensure a safer and more efficient future for its people. This crucial railway connection links the busy cities of Mumbai and Ahmedabad, both economic powerhouses, covering a distance of just over 500 kilometers. The route includes 12 new stations, providing a more efficient option than the challenging drive between the two cities. This ambitious project is groundbreaking, featuring Shinkansen trains, the same models used on Japan's renowned rail network. These trains, known for their remarkable speed and enhanced safety, also play a significant role in reducing environmental impact. Their energy-efficient operations and regenerative braking systems contribute to lower carbon emissions compared to other forms of transportation. Now the big question is, how does India plan to make this impressive rail network a reality, especially when one of the cities it's connecting, Mumbai, is a sprawling metropolis with over 20 million inhabitants? Well, about 92% of the track will be elevated on viaducts and bridges, and this approach comes with several benefits. It allows the railway to cross rivers and existing infrastructure, minimizing its environmental impact and, in theory, making land acquisition simpler. This strategy aims to create a modern and eco-friendly transportation system for the bustling cities of Mumbai and Ahmedabad. Yet, a significant engineering challenge arises at Thane Creek, a large inlet to the east of Mumbai. This is the only spot along the entire route where a substantial body of water stands in the way. Instead of building high above the surface, the decision was made to go underground. The process starts with excavation using drilling and blasting techniques. Following that, ground supports and reinforcements are introduced, topped with a concrete shell over a waterproof lining. The result? 
India's first undersea rail tunnel is an impressive 7 kilometers long, with the entire underground section covering an astonishing 21 kilometers. It's a single tube with enough space for two trains, each going in opposite directions, requiring a substantial 13 meter diameter. Truly, it's an incredible engineering achievement in the making. This extensive project was carefully estimated to cost around 1.1 lakh crore, which is about 14 billion dollars. The effort and innovation invested in overcoming this underwater obstacle demonstrate India's commitment to creating a modern and efficient rail network, even when faced with formidable challenges. Nevertheless, a substantial chunk of the funding, precisely 81% of the total project cost, was secured through a generous contribution from the Japan International Cooperation Agency. This amounted to 88.89 crore, which corresponds to $15 billion in 2023. The support came in the form of a 50-year 1.5 trillion Japanese yen loan carrying an impressively low interest rate of 0.1% and a provision for a moratorium on repayments for up to 15 years. The state governments of Maharashtra and Gujarat took on the remaining financial responsibility. The strategic collaboration with Japan for this project went beyond funding. Japan also contributed 20% of the components used on the corridor. Notably, these components were both supplied by Japan and manufactured in India, creating a partnership that combined technological expertise with local production. While India has a well-thought-out plan for constructing this bullet train, various challenges are slowing down its progress. The project has surpassed 30% completion, but the initial target for completion in 2022 has been pushed to at least 2028. Several factors contributed to this delay such as elevating most of the track on piers and expediting land acquisition, a persistent challenge in railway construction. However, despite progress, the target couldn't be met entirely. In early 2022, nearly all the land in Gujarat had been acquired, while in Maharashtra it stood at 75% due to legal disputes with landowners. Although the situation has improved, with both regions now nearly at 100%, the completion occurred later than originally anticipated. Adding to the complexity, a change in government in Maharashtra led to an anti-bullet train coalition temporarily holding power. Their concerns centered on the beneficiaries of the project, favoring conventional railway projects that they perceived to benefit a larger population. Despite the government's shift in favor of the bullet train, the debate on whether it caters to everyone's needs lingers. Upon completion, the high-speed rail must attract substantial passenger support to recoup the considerable investment. Estimates suggest that around 50 million travelers annually would be needed to achieve this financial goal. The question arises, is India focusing its efforts in the right direction by prioritizing a brand new high-speed railway when existing infrastructure issues persist? A significant portion of infrastructure resources has been allocated to road construction, a vital component of the Million Infrastructure Plan. This approach aims to extend infrastructure support to rural areas aiding in poverty alleviation, enhancing employment opportunities and fostering economic development between cities and towns. This concerted effort has the potential to position India as a global infrastructure powerhouse, enriching its tourism sector and expediting economic growth. While the national government sees the bullet train project as the launching point for a nationwide network, there is recognition that those who can't afford it should have a safe and reliable alternative. This is where road development comes in. Improved general infrastructure, including roads, will be a significant driver, possibly earning India the title of an infrastructure enthusiast on the global stage. The dual focus on both high-speed rail and road development underscores India's commitment to comprehensive infrastructure enhancement for the benefit of its diverse population. While the speed of progress on the bullet train project might not be as fast as we'd hoped, the possibilities it brings are genuinely exciting. It's only a matter of time before India proudly joins the ranks of countries with this coveted infrastructure and the current transportation challenges will gradually become a thing of the past. Now here's a question for you. Do you believe it's the right approach for India to focus on other architectural endeavors before completing their first bullet train? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. Also, please give this video a like and share it. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more engaging content. See you in the next video.